Seventh grade, unit one, lesson nine, creating scale drawings. Number one, an image of a book shown on a website is one and five tenths inches wide and three inches tall on a computer monitor. The actual book is nine inches wide. A, what scale is being used for the image? Well, the actual book is nine inches wide and it was only one and five tenths inches wide on the computer monitor. So nine divided by one and five tenths equals six. The scale is one inch to six inches. Or you could say the scale is one to six. B, how tall is the actual book? I'm going to use the information they provided. For the scaled copy on the computer monitor, the width is 1 and 5 tenths, the height is 3, and the scale is 1 to 6. Using the scale, we can determine the width and the height. 1 and 5 tenths times 6 equals 9, and 3 times 6 equals 18. The book is 18 inches tall. Number 2. The flag of Columbia is a rectangle that is six feet long with three horizontal stripes. The top stripe is two feet tall and is yellow. The middle stripe is one foot tall and is blue. The bottom stripe is also one foot tall and is red. A. Create a scale drawing of the Colombian flag with a scale of one centimeter to two feet. This image represents the actual Colombian flag that's six feet wide. I've divided this up into three separate sections, each two feet long. For every two feet of the actual flag, one centimeter would be represented on the scale drawing. The height of the actual flag is four feet tall. Here it's been separated into two feet, one foot, and one foot. So for every two feet, one centimeter is represented on the scale drawing. So here's a look at the scale drawing of the flag. It's three centimeters long and two centimeters tall. The red stripe is five tenths of a centimeter tall or a half inch. So is the blue stripe. And the yellow stripe is one centimeter tall. B. Create a scale drawing of the Colombian flag with a scale of two centimeters to one foot. Again, here's a look at the actual Colombian flag, six feet long and four feet tall. Since the scale of this drawing is going to be two centimeters for every one foot, the six foot section would have 12 centimeters because six times two is 12 and the four foot section would be eight centimeters because four times two is eight. The red stripe would be two centimeters tall and so would the blue stripe. The yellow stripe would be four centimeters tall. Number three, these triangles are scaled copies of each other. For each pair of triangles listed, the area of the second triangle is how many times larger than the area of the first? A triangle G and triangle F. Triangle G was the first triangle mentioned and triangle F was the second triangle mentioned. So they're asking how many times larger is triangle F than triangle G? First we need to find the area of both the triangles. Triangle G, the area is going to be half of 4 times 3 or half of 12. The area for triangle G is 6 square units. The area for triangle F will be half of 8 times 6, or half of 48. Half of 48 is 24, so the area for triangle F is 24 square units. So to figure out how many times larger the area is of triangle F compared to triangle G, we simply divide 24 and 6, or 24 divided by 6. 24 divided by 6 is 4, so the area of triangle F is 4 times the size of the area of triangle G. B. Triangle G and triangle B. 
Triangle G is the first triangle mentioned, and triangle B is the second triangle mentioned. The area for triangle G will be half of 4 times 3, or half of 12, which is 6 square units, and the area for triangle B will be half of 2 times 3 halves, or 6 halves divided by 2. 6 halves is 3, and 3 divided by 2 is 3 halves, or 1.5, which is 1 and 5 tenths. The area for triangle B is 1 and 5 tenths. So the question is, how many times bigger is the second triangle than the first? Or how many times bigger is triangle B compared to triangle G? Which is interesting because B is actually smaller than G. The area of triangle B divided by the area of triangle G, or 1.5 divided by 6. And 1.5 divided by 6 is 1 fourth. The area of triangle B is 1 fourth the size of the area of triangle G. C. Triangle B and Triangle F. Triangle B is the first triangle mentioned, and Triangle F is the second triangle mentioned. The area of triangle B is half of 2 times 3 halves, or half of 6 divided by 2, which is the same as 3 divided by 2. And again, 3 halves, or 3 divided by 2, is equal to 1.5, or 1 and 5 tenths. The area of triangle B is 1 and 5 tenths square units. The area of triangle F is half of 8 times 6, or half of 48. Half of 48 is 24, so the area of triangle F is 24 square units. So the question is, how much larger is the area of triangle F compared to the area of triangle B? That's the same as asking 24 divided by 1.5. And 24 divided by 1.5 is 16. The area of triangle F is 16 times larger than the area of triangle B. D. Triangle F and Triangle H. On the left is triangle F. It was the first one mentioned. On the right is triangle H. It was the second triangle mentioned. The area for triangle H is half the base times the height. The base is 2, so half the base would be 1, and 1 times the height, or 1 times 8 thirds, equals 8 thirds. So the area of triangle H is 8 thirds square units. The area of triangle F, like always, is half of the base times the height, and in this case, half the base is 3, so 3 times the height, or 3 times 8, and 3 times 8 is 24, so the area of triangle F is 24 square units. Since triangle H was the second one mentioned, we're trying to figure out how much larger the area of triangle H is compared to the area of triangle F. Now it's interesting because triangle H is much smaller, but anyway to figure that out we need to divide the area of triangle H by the area of triangle F. 8 thirds divided by 24 8 thirds divided by 24 is 1 ninth. The area for triangle H is 1 ninth the size of the area of triangle F. E. Triangle G and triangle H. On the left is triangle G, it was the first triangle mentioned, and on the right is triangle H, it was the second triangle mentioned. The area for triangle H is 8 thirds square units and the area for triangle G is 6 square units. We need to determine how much larger triangle H is compared to triangle G. Again, triangle H is actually smaller than triangle G, but we still need to do the division. 8 thirds divided by 6, which is the same as 8 thirds divided by 6 over 1 or 8 thirds times the reciprocal of 6 over 1, which is 1 6. So we have 8 thirds times 1 sixth. And 8 thirds times 1 sixth equals 4 ninths. So the area of triangle H is 4 ninths the size of the area of triangle G. Triangle H and Triangle B. 
On the right is triangle H. It was mentioned first. And on the left is triangle B. It was mentioned second. The area for triangle H is 8 thirds square units and the area for triangle B is 3 halves square units or 1.5 square units. We're trying to figure out how much larger the area is for triangle B compared to triangle H. So the area of triangle B, 3 halves, divided by the area of triangle H, 8 thirds. 3 halves divided by 8 thirds. That's the same as multiplying 3 halves times 3 eighths. 3 halves times 3 eighths equals 9 sixteenths. The area of triangle B is 9 sixteenths the size of the area for triangle H. Number 4. Here is an unlabeled rectangle followed by other quadrilaterals that are labeled. A. Select all quadrilaterals that are scaled copies of the unlabeled rectangle. Explain how you know. I've drawn out the unlabeled rectangle in blue and I went ahead and labeled its dimensions. It's four units wide and two units tall, or it has a base of four units and a height of two units. Potential scaled copies for the unlabeled rectangle that has dimensions of 2 by 4 would be 1 by 2, 2 by 4, 3 by 6, 4 by 8, or 5 by 10. I filled in the dimensions for the other quadrilaterals that were rectangles. I'm not selecting A or F because they're not rectangles. And I'm not selecting rectangles B or G because they don't have the right dimensions. I am choosing rectangles C, D, and H because they are scaled copies of the unlabeled rectangle. B. On graph paper, draw a different scaled version of the original rectangle. I've decided to draw one with dimensions that are 5 by 10. Here's a scaled copy of the original unlabeled rectangle. It has a base of 10 and a height of 5. 